Good afternoon and thank you for joining me to make this delectable sides dish for lunch. It's going to have some yummy things and it is inspired by some amazing people in my life. This is like a, a combination of what my mother, my grandmother and my friend Raja, all three of them have a specific way of making cauliflower. I like different components of everything that all of them put together, so I thought, let's make the recipe. So it starts with coconut oil, as everything in Kerala does. So we're going to be putting the coconut oil in there, and then I'm going to be adding in some red onions. So there is something really amazing about red onions, besides all of the nutritive values that it provides with the quercetin and such. It also has a really robust, pungent flavor, which makes it so delectable and lovely. I'm going to be throwing in some curry leeks. That's fresh from Sarita's yard. Really nice. We're going to put that in there. And then I'm going to get started on some ginger. So I'm going to put about maybe a teaspoon and a half of minced ginger and two teaspoons of minced garlic. Without ginger and garlic, the flavors really of the cauliflower do not really come through. To me, the experience of cooking is just that. It is the experience. Sometimes when you feel like you don't feel like cooking, it is time to explore, go deep within and find out why. Because there is nothing like the experience of cooking. Because it creates so much of an instant gratification. You can see it, you know, in the eyes and the experience of the people you're cooking for, and sometimes even when you're cooking for yourself. So it's a really good barometer to find out how you're doing in life. It smells really nice in here. So to this, I'm going to be adding in some coriander powder. See, what I really like about coriander powder is that it takes on a really beautiful dimension of flavor when it intermingles with onion, ginger, and garlic. So to that, I'm also going to be adding in some cayenne pepper. You can use chili powder if you have it. So, you know, it just really depends. But I like the cayenne pepper, and I'm going to be putting in some turmeric. So normally you would notice that in most of my recipes, I do put the spices in first before I put in the onion, ginger, and garlic. But for this recipe, please be aware that the order has in fact changed. So each recipe has its own go-to. So to this now, I'm going to be adding in a little bit more of the coconut oil. So coconut oil is really good. It actually prevents um, a lot of infection that could happen. So you just want to have a really good organic kind of coconut oil. And it really needs to be like extra virgin. So make sure you get the good stuff. Okay, since all of that warming and beautifying has happened there, I'm going to be adding in one tomato. So what I really like about the aspect of adding in the tomato at this junction, I like to keep it in chunks rather than the puree. Some people will say, you know, I just prefer to do the puree. The reason why I don't prefer to do the puree is because I want the taste, the little bit of the tart aspect of the tomato coming through really nicely. To me, when I feel happy, I like to cook, and I feel a little, you know, undulated in different things that are going on in my life. I still like to create. It's the perfect way to change your state in life, right? So it really makes you creative. It wants you to change, to transform, to just be. It's lovely that way. So once the tomatoes have like, softened just a teeny weeny bit. You don't want it to soften way too much, just a teeny weeny bit. You are going to be adding in the cauliflower. And make sure that the 
masalas now of all the different spices are getting to know the cauliflower really well. The cauliflower is such a versatile vegetable and all of the people who are doing the keto now, the cauliflower is like their best friend. So since it is such a versatile vegetable, it is really favored in different aspects of flavorful cuisines all over the world. Like the Middle Eastern people love it. You know, we were in Israel last spring and everyone, it's just like we had cauliflower everywhere, right? So also to us in India, cauliflower is really, like really not a native vegetable. It's a vegetable that came through after the West came through. So for us, we made sure that our spices are so pungent that any vegetable will take on the flavor. And we really wanted to create that variety. And that is such an important part of creating great cuisine, that you are able to adapt and yet keep the nourishment and the nutrition alive. Okay. So now I'm going to be adding in a little bit of the chili flakes. You don't want to go overboard on that. And a little bit more of the coriander. And to that, I'm going to be adding in some king trumpet or royal trumpet mushrooms. Now, as you know, the royal trumpet mushrooms or any other mushrooms have a lot of water in them. And that's the reason why I didn't add it first. You know, I want to add the cauliflower first and I want to add the mushrooms later. So just make sure that they are cooked through. And to this, I just want to add like maybe another half teaspoon of coconut oil. And I'm going to add just a teeny weeny bit of water for the mushrooms and the cauliflower to cook through. And we'll give it about maybe five minutes on the stove. And because there is the water in there, there is no risk of it burning. So all of the new cooks, let me tell you, you put a little water in there when in doubt that you might burn something, right? So the flame is fine as long as there is water. You don't want to put too much water because otherwise it will ruin the actual integrity of the vegetable. The shape and form, of course, will be changed a little bit and you don't want that. So this is more about keeping things moist and using the water as a way to cook the vegetable or the mushroom. So now is the perfect time to add some salt to taste. I'm also good about waiting till the very end with this recipe to add the cilantro. Like I told you, this recipe is inspired by three people. All of them do different things to this recipe and I like certain aspects of each of it. Like my mom adding the tomatoes is something I like. The fact that my grandmother would put medicinal mushrooms in just about anything is wonderful, right? And there is, of course, a huge argument is like Ayurvedic and mushrooms, you know, aren't mushrooms thermistic? The truth is that mushrooms are not really thermistic. You have to think about it like, are they medicinal? Are they good for me? Think about it from that perspective. Things are looking really beautiful in here, and I'm going to plate up real soon. Okay, once the mushroom and the tomatoes and the cauliflower are kind of cooked down and it's in this consistency. Please go ahead and add a pinch of cardamom powder. And to this, I'm going to be adding in some coconut milk. So coconut milk is such an important ingredient to bring in all of these flavors and bring them into a proper and beautiful consistency. They swim really well and the flavors are lovely. You'll see a really, really important rapid boil that happens in the circumference. Then you know that it is done. So we're going to be plating up right now. So while we plate up, I'm just going to be putting in some pilaf rice. So you can use the rice or quinoa of your choice. But a pilaf rice like this would really go well with a mushroom and a cauliflower side. 
I'm also going to prepare the plate with some microgreens. Microgreens are really all the rage, just on the side like so. Okay, so we're going to be serving this beautiful cauliflower delicacy going all the way through on the rice like so. And there we have it. Absolutely gorgeous. So it's time to do a little taste test and I'm excited for this because I do like, this is like a family style meal. It's got lots of flavor, but we are taking care of this. Beautiful. Perfect. It's the kind of flavors that reminds me of completion. It has beautiful texture, vibrant flavors, and makes you really happy. So, I think you should try this for a really good spring summer lunchtime recipe and tell us all about it and follow us on Instagram so that we can get to know you. Until we meet again in another episode of Own Cuisine, this is Vaidya Priyanka.